the, uh, as part of the public, um, oh, sorry, public uh, participation standing order 3.19, the public forum. Um, I'm advised that at the previous meeting of the council, uh, Redcliffe School were provided with an opportunity to um, use this uh, at this meeting today to make a presentation. So I would like to um, invite Kim Alexander and I think Mark Rob Robards as well um, to come forward and um, to uh, present to uh, the council. Good morning. Morning. Good morning, Mayor. Uh, thank you for allowing us to come and speak today. Uh, yes, we did come along a couple of weeks ago and spoke in the mirror in the chair. Uh, we came to speak uh, very briefly about the situation with Redcliffe School, which, um, as you know, is relocated at Banish Deaf Education Centre currently. And recently we have had a proposal from the Minister for Education uh, to close the school. Uh, and we have until the 1st of July to make submissions on that. And uh, we have come to ask the council to uh, also make a submission in support of Redcliffe School returning to its school site and remaining open into the future. Just in addition to that, councillors, there's been a very conservative um, report commissioned by the Ministry of Education and delivered by MWH, which basically comes up with a safety plan for the school, which gives it a, a background safety level of one in a million annual life risk, which compares quite favourably to the green zone housing, um, one in 10,000 annual life risk. So in other words, the background risk on the school site at the moment is the same as us sitting in this chamber here. It's the same as the life risk to anyone at anywhere in New Zealand. So uh, that's just one of the points we'd like to get across. The Minister has acknowledged that in her education report and the Ministry have acknowledged that. But the reason that they've given is potential disruption to education in the future. And we believe with the advice we've had in the past few weeks that this potential disruption is a very solvable issue to do with the design of the mitigation that would go in place and also to do with the actual potential for that disruption to take place. So these are things that we're working on now as part of our submission and we would encourage the council to work along with us in that regard in terms of any planning for that mitigation. And uh, councillors um, Yanni Johansson and Paul Lonsdale uh, have met with us and uh, we would like to work collaboratively to um, assist them in uh, writing a submission on behalf of the council. In the two minutes, 18 seconds we've got <laughs> left, uh, is there any chance to, to field any questions from the councillors? Well, I just, I, I want to kind of um, tease out um, in terms of uh, our uh, contribution to a submission on it. I think that where the council would be able to add value to a, um, a submission process would be that we have access to you know, the um, uh, expert staff mm. who have analysed the, um, the hillsides uh, in that area, who have uh, worked collaboratively with other engineers, and I don't know whether MWH are in that mix as well, but I presume so, yeah. because there was a whole Port Hills um, group of yeah. geotechnical engineers that actually worked yeah. quite collaboratively right across the board um, in terms of the universities as well. So from a scientific research and practical engineering approach, um, I think we have a better knowledge of our, um, you know, the, our Port Hills than probably any other area of New Zealand. Yeah. Um, and that, that mapping process has given us a better understanding of what the potential future risks are, mm. the life risk issues we've, we've dealt with um, as far as the district plan goes, um, and, and, and um, ways that, um, you know, sort of 
discourage uh, further building in particular areas. So uh, I think that what I'd quite like to do is to kind of make an, make an offer that um, we open up our expertise as a council to um, support the community um, to make a submission. And in that regard, it's, we're, we're offering the technical support. Um, I mean, obviously, the moral support comes from your, your local councillors. Yeah. So, so what would be the point of contact for taking up your offer of that support? Well, I think that we'll um, leave that with the um, chief executive to, um, to to decide how that would would work. But I mean, as I say, we've got a there's a Port Hills geotechnical team which yeah. we could yeah. um, really make available to support the community. Right. So, are you suggesting that that would be uh, in addition to a council submission or instead of? No, no, no. As in a way, it says well as because. Obviously, our submission couldn't be um, absent the technical advice. I mean, um, yeah. you know, I mean, it, it, it's it's a hugely challenging issue, yeah. Yeah. and um, you know, uh, make no mistake, we're aware of that, and and that forms the the bulk of our submission is is around that those technical issues as yeah. well. Yeah, Yanni. So. drafted a, a resolution, but I think um, we do have a working, uh, uh, sorry, a wee rockfall subcommittee that has been at a governance level looking at things around um, risk, and I think it's maybe appropriate that that committee just gets together and works through as well. But I just had a draft resolution that um, says that the council make a submission in support of the school returning to its home, and that councillors Lonsdale and Johansson work with the school representatives on the draft submission to be developed for council approval. So obviously the submission will come back to yeah, council. I, I kind of, you know, don't really want us to um, to start from a, a position on without the without the background report. I actually want to see what the um, the, the geotechnical thing is. I don't know what it is, so I'm, um, you know, I, I mean, I've had conversations with various people, but I, I kind of want to take a degree of comfort. We're talking about a school where, you know, I mean, children were playing on the day when the, um, when that rock full rock face basically collapsed in front of them. So um, I, I just want to know what I want to see what the technical advice is. I haven't seen the minister's report, yeah. for example. And um, so I don't want to start from that position. I want to start from the position that we want to support the community with all of the technical advice that we have available to us so that we can then both support the community but also to um, develop our own submission. So um, I, I, I'm sorry, I, I'm not aware of who's on the Rockfall subcommittee. Generally the Port Hill councillors, so the ones that are affected by rock roll and cliff collapse. Yeah. Um, and it's been very successful in working through those um, individual rock protection structures as a cross collaboration of council staff and various units. So it's it's quite a good I, I felt it was it was doing something very similar to, you know, what we may need to do in terms of our submission. Yeah. Um, it was just doing it on an individual basis. Yeah. So um well, um, I, I mean, that, that's, that, that is perfectly acceptable that the, um, that the subcommittee work uh, with the local community. Yeah. That's a very quick question. You mentioned uh, the risk of dis disruption being, or formulating, or being a big part of that definition as far as the uh, risk that the ministry has identified. How different is the risk of disruption to education um, to the education provision, to the risk of any other school as it sits now anywhere else in the city? Yeah. Oh, that's a very good point. Um, and that's something that hasn't been quantified. And it's, it's really somewhere we don't want to go, looking at relative risks with different schools around the, around the whole country, really. But, um, but from what you've said, one could surmise, actually, that that risk is the same as it is for any other school in the city. Yeah, one could surmise that. Right. Thank yes, you. the safety uh, the safety lines for our school that show how far our school is away from potential rockfall uh, show that it's uh, one in a million uh, fatality risk, um, which is much higher than lower. where people live. <laughs> much lower, sorry, much lower than where where people live and 
uh, possibly <laughs> where um, other schools and public places may be located, not just in Christchurch, but throughout New Zealand. Mm. It's, it's not a can that, of worms that I think the Ministry no. want to open. Yeah, yeah it is. Yeah. 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 So, um, I, yeah. So I'm, I'm just trying to um, work here. So, um, so a, a, because it is worthwhile having a resolution on the book, so that the uh, Christchurch um, City Council provide all technical reports and advice that we have um, to uh, support the schools. Um, uh, well, it's yeah. analysis of potential disruption, really. Yeah. Because well, we already have all, 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 a, a peer-reviewed report that, that declares the site safe. Oh, it's okay. really around the issue of future disruption and, and design well, solution well, for that. Well, then maybe, maybe we can't... Uh, yeah, because the, that, that may, may not be stuff that we already have. It may not be accessible. So... Um, so um, Every advice that we have on hand now, we'll give them that right Yeah. Away. Okay, but well, I mean, maybe, maybe we just—I don't. I'm not quite sure. Um, I, I think just making those resources available to us will will help because they're, they're still resources that are needed to answer that question. Yeah. They're still geotechnical questions that need to be answered. Okay, that we will provide all um, all technical um, support and advice uh, that we can to support the school. Um, developing its submission and that uh, the council itself will prepare a submission uh, through through the um, Rockfall subcommittee. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Thanks very much. All right. So, um, so that, that's moved. Yanni Johansson seconded. Paul Lonsdale. I'll put that motion. All those in favour say aye. Those opposed say no. That's carried.